everyone shaver 1000 here today we're going to be getting this boat ready to take on our overnighter really not much to do uh my navigation lights work the headlights work but the interior of the blue lights don't work so we're going to check that stuff out and we'll get into it stick around So like I said, all the lights are working except for the ones inside. They're not a necessity. I just like to have them. Uh, when I'm out at night in the boat, you know, it's it's kind of an ambiance. It's kind of cool. Uh, if I drop something, I can find it. <coughs> and it's more noticeable to like bigger boats. I don't, I don't usually have to worry about it out here on the river. Uh, if I was going out on a lake, you know, that, that would help out a lot. Like I said, they're not a necessity. I just like them. I'm going to try to get them working. I got the battery up front. I got it on the charger. And I've got, uh, let's see. I checked my pump. And my pump is working. So, uh, what else? Probably going to start this up real quick. Can't let it run long. But we'll start it up. Make sure it's going to start okay for me. I can't be out there cranking on that thing like I used to. So it usually starts up pretty good. So we're going to fire the engine up, make sure it's okay. Check the gas. But right now, let's get into this uh, into these lights and find out what's going on with them. Okay, guys, so I found the ground wire off here. I don't know. Can you see them lights? So we're going to fix this ground wire. Uh, I forgot a screwdriver. Dag on it. Okay, I know the lighting sucks, guys, but I'm sorry. Yeah, it's definitely a ground problem. Like I said, these wires are so, so tiny, man. Just snap right off of there. I have, have another one of these. And I'm going to put on here. Don't lose that screw. Uh, and it's hard to it's hard to crimp or uh, get these wires to where. You're not just kind of cutting them, you know what I mean? So that's what I got to do a lot of times is do that. There, there we go. Now I'm going to fold these over. Twist them. Now, what I'm going to do, is since this is ground, I'm going to take this red this red piece off of here I don't know what you guys can see because I'm not looking at the screen uh, I'm gonna take this red piece off plastic off here and put that straight on there and then something a little different I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna put some of this on here so let me get this uh, let me get this sorted on what I'm gonna need and then I'll kick you back on okay guys so like I said the lighting's horrible out here what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a little piece of this this is just heat heat shrink and I'm gonna cut it in half like that I'm gonna set it over there this is going to play a part in it too so I'm going to cut oh about a third of it all right now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here first this is just going to go to that right there okay but we got to put that on first 
then we're going to put this on second guess it doesn't really matter okay now we're going to put our yeah this is the smallest one I've got too and I and it's it's actually it's actually too big so I mean I know they're LEDs and they're low voltage but you know you can you can run a little bigger wire than that on there Okay, so let's try to crimp this down. All right, my crimpers don't even want to go that small. All right. So kind of. All right, so we're going to bring the little one. I can get it through there up here and I'm just going to put it right there to that or close to it because the big one is going to be over this so that way it tightens it up a little better makes it a little bit stronger I'm just going to use my lighter for this okay I've got to let this cool for a second because if you don't, when you go to slide this over it, it'll actually melt this before you get it up on there. So, all right, now let's go ahead and put this up on there just like that. See how it, I don't know what you guys are, oh shit, sorry. I don't know what you guys are seeing. But it's, then it should, should be enough uh, to give it, give it a little more strength. But these are them cheap lights too, you know, I mean, I think it was eight bucks, I got ten of them. I got one up front, up in the bow, there's two up at the point of the boat. And uh, one of them's not working, that's okay. It's hardly noticeable, but, all right. Now let's put this, yeah, there, okay, I see it's working now, but I gotta glue that back on there, so let me go get some stuff. Okay guys, I found another issue right here was loose I just had a black tape because like I said there's really no connections I can get to make that a good connection so I'm going to try something different what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half maybe alright here we go Dang. All my cutters are dull. Okay, so then I'm going to strip this back some more. Then I'm going to strip this one back some more. All right. I've already got this one stripped. Stripped back. So I'm going to put a piece of this heat shrink on there I'm going to wire it up and heat shrink them together because like I said there's really those wires are so small there's really not a, a good connection I can make with regular buck connectors or like I said when you solder them if you solder these things they will they'll do the same thing so I don't know this is going to work or not so I'm going to twist these two together like this and I'm going to put this one on here like this I'll see it should that light should come on now yeah and it does okay so now I'm going to try to scooch this over top of all that and that should help there now 
I still didn't go get my glue yet to glue that light on there. But let's go ahead and put this on here. want it kind of over here then I'll get this glued up I gotta make another connection over on the other side the same same issue so let me get you over here where you can see a little better okay so again I'm gonna put this little tiny one, man, I wish you, I know cameras don't do this justice. Wish you guys could see how tiny these are. Now this is one of those times where I can actually say, yeah, I get what I pay for. So I got like 10 lights for $8 or something. I got more in there. I, I still got a whole nother set. I mean, they work, it's just I don't, I don't like that wire situation. Because see, what this, what that little piece there is going to do is take up, you know, so it's not so, because this one's huge. So, we're going to put this one on here. And like I said, I was going to solder them, but they're, I've soldered these before and they just don't, they just don't work. I mean, the solder just it just breaks right at the solder this is the best way I found so far to do this okay so I'm just going to scooch this up here a little bit because it's just going to take up some of the slack as you can see the lights came on <clears throat> and like I said these are not a necessity where would I put my lighter um, they're just uh, I just like them and I can't find my lighter Okay, it was over there. <laughs> My drill was on it. So, we're just going to go ahead and heat this up. And I've mentioned this before. If it's a hot day, guys, keep this stuff out of the sun. Trust me. I used to do that all the time, man, at work. You know, uh, I'd have to go out and do something out in the sun. And, and I would bring my heat shrink. And I'd check the size. This is what I need. Go out and then it wouldn't fit no more. Well, the sun made it shrink, so... I'm just going to put this right over here like that. I got a heat gun that's perfect for this, but uh, hell, if I'm just doing this out here, this will be fine. Okay, so now, oops, I'm moving you guys. Okay, let me see here. I lost my lights again. Let me see. Alright, I gotta find a problem. Hang on. Okay guys, you're not gonna believe this. I know I stand here talking to you. I'm out here by myself. Uh, I just looked over and the switch was off. And I I don't know if I heard it go off. Uh, the switch was actually off. Nothing fell on it. But, uh, I forgot to tell you, I'm not gonna be tying or gluing that, that on over there, that light. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I got that double-sided tape. Tape. Then I'm gonna stick on it. Okay, so this is what I've got, this 3M stuff. Um, those lights themselves, they do come with sticking, with stick backing to stick on here, but it's not that great. What I did with the other ones, um, I did take the backing off and like the ones up on front and stuff, they're holding real good. Uh, I did take this backing stuff off of it, but what I did was I used that white silicone sealant and put a thin lower layer of that on, and they're holding. So, uh, I was going to do that on this, but I decided not to. <laughs> this one, these ones, uh, you can see them at night. It's just that... They get so dirty back here because of the gas tank and, uh, you know, the fumes get back in here. Um, it's not dangerous because it's wide open. It's just, you can see the dirt, you know, I mean, look how dirty that is back in here. And this has all just been painted, you know. So for my trip tomorrow, 
this is going to be all right this will this will be fine and i like these back here in case i have any engine problems or something it does help it does help uh light it up for me um I don't know how well these are going to work. Probably the same as what was on there. I don't know. But if it holds it up till my trip, that's fine. Because this spring, you know, every spring, I go over the boat and uh, make sure everything's working. We clean it out real good and all that. Um, so this will be all right for until then. And I'm going to put another piece right up here, okay, right there, and then uh, and I got another piece put on the other side, and this will be done, and then I think we'll start it up. I'm not going to let it run, because I don't feel like getting a bucket of water out. Because the way this is designed, I can't put muffs on it. Um, the water where the water intake is I, I've got a set of muffs but you know they they won't work on here so I have to fill a big thing of water up to but we're just gonna let it run enough to make sure it's gonna run like I said I'm just going up here at the river there's that this needs to go over here like that there we go now I'm gonna put one on the other side and then we're gonna uh, Make sure they're all working. Then we're going to uh, start it up, and then I think that'll be it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about all this in here. This is just a little bit of water from the rain, but where the drain is, you know, it doesn't drain completely out. So usually it dries out, but it just rained night before last, and it was full of water. So, well, not full of water. I always tip the boat up. But it can only get so much of it out because it holds right on the bottom so let's go ahead and i'm gonna go put another piece of that sticky stuff on there and let's check the light okay guys <clears throat> let's try our nav or our interior lights those are on 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 i know i got one little one out there like i said i got a whole nother pack of them on on i think there's one of these out over there on the other side those are on those ones are off i'm not going to worry about them ones <clears throat> so cool now we're going to check our headlights yeah they're working cool now we're going to check our nav lights, our navigational beacons here, and I can see them from back here. I don't know if you guys can, so. Red and green. Now, the fun thing. Cool. Let's start it up. And we need to check our motor. Our trolling motor, we got a light here, cool. Let's see here. Nice and quiet. Forward. And reverse. Alright. Awesome. So we're gonna set this motor down here. Uh let me raise that jack up. That's why I keep that there. I'll raise that up so this doesn't fall down on it onto the ground uh, I gotta check the gas I think it's got about a half a tank it's a six gallon tank yeah about a half a tank I'll go ahead and fill that up tomorrow when I go put about two and a half two and a, two two and a half gallons in it that'll get me through it's only gonna be one night or I'll be by myself so all right let's start this thing up okay guys Already pumped the primer bulb. It's tight, ready to go. Give it some throttle.
I'm going to go ahead and fill it up, and I'm going to let it run. Sounds like I got some old fuel in there or something. So I want to go ahead and get a bucket under here. We'll start it up and mess around with it. Okay, so I took the fuel filter off. There's a little bit of dirt in it. Let's see if that does any better. Still not right I think the carb needs a tune-up um, they supposedly took the carburetor off the guy we bought it off of I still got the receipt it doesn't look like it's been off and clean to me I think that's what it's gonna need it idles a little funny like it's kind of starving like say if you got a lawnmower that surgeon that's kind of what it does on idle um, on the slow jet you can turn it either way and it doesn't make a difference so but I think it'll be alright for tomorrow, so, well, you guys will be watching this tomorrow. <laughs> so it'll be alright for Saturday. <laughs> alright guys, so there you go. It's ready. I'm going to do my final checks again. I just don't want to be out there by myself. As long as that, that motor, that trolling motor works, it'll get me where I need to go. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but the engine seems to be running good, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, like I said, this spring we'll go over it and we'll pull the carburetor off and, you know, uh, clean it out, check the jets and all that stuff. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. Almost forgot to put my starting fluid in here. I had it sitting over there. Had to use it one time. I haven't had to use it since. As you've seen, it started first crank, but I had it there just in case, so I always carry it with me. Uh, these old motors can be pretty cantankerous at times, so I always make sure I got that with me. I shouldn't need it, but we'll see. Uh, all right, guys. We'll see you soon.